there's a huge problem for customers when buying any used battery electric vehicles today, no matter the make and model. Hi, I'm Marcus. Welcome to Tesla Simplified. Please like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. Now, let's get into it. Buyer, buyers of used better electric vehicles need to know how healthy the battery is before purchasing the vehicle. For gas cars, people just look at the odometer and see if they want to go further into looking into the health of the car's engine and other parts. After that, people usually take their cars, the, the, the cars to the mechanic to make sure they're making a good buy. In the case of a better electric vehicle, it isn't so simple. The battery is the most expensive and the most important part of the car, and there's no way to see how healthy the battery is and how it was treated by the first buyer. This is needed because the first that the gas cars, they don't last as long as a battery electric vehicle. A gas car will last maybe 150,000 miles at the most. Uh, after that, it will just start giving you too many problems. A battery electric vehicle, though, will last you between 300,000 miles and 500,000 miles. So at the very least, two and a half times as long. And you just don't, when you buy a secondhand car, you, you just don't know how the battery was treated. The battery should not be charged to 100 and, um, well, for most vehicles, um, and discharged to less than um, to less than 10. Obviously, some types of batteries, this can be done, but not for most batteries sold in the U.S. today, which is what I'm talking about today. Um, so the, the, it, it should also not be supercharged or DC fast charged every day. And there's no way for a buyer to know if this was done to the vehicle. There, the odometer just doesn't tell you that. And since this is the most expensive and, you know, most important part of the car, these, EV companies should allow you to uh, to look at the health of the battery easily, and um, you know so you can make an informed decision. Um, this is one of the. This is actually a bigger problem for Tesla at the moment because Tesla has the best superchargers and a network, and um, because the cars are so comfortable and a great car to do road trips in. Um, I think most people that would buy a Tesla would probably drive more often than they did before they had a Tesla. I know I did. I used to drive at the most five hours away from me for a road trip. And now I can easily do 12, 16 hour trips um, in a day just because it's a Tesla. It's more comfortable. It's easier. It's just, it's just better. So, there, you know, road trips mean supercharging. And, you know, I guess people just need to know when they're buying the car that uh, this, this, uh, the, the health of the battery. In my view, the only way to really know if the battery was treated properly is to make sure that whoever you're buying from had a charger at home. And this way, at least you will know that the person charged overnight at home and not just supercharging. If you're buying from a person who lives in an apartment, um, that means that they were, they were probably supercharging it all the time. And that's really not good for the battery at all. Um, cars that were used for uh, taxis, better electric vehicles that are used for taxis, and were never charged at home, have been known to last only about 150,000 miles. And then you have to get a brand new battery, which is over $10,000 today. Obviously this price will go down in the future, but as of today, it's a pretty expensive thing to fix. So just wanna make sure, um, that I also tell you that this is only a problem if these cars are used in uh, DC fast charging constantly. 
Um, if, if the car is used on a normal fashion um, that a person or a family would, would need, it's not a problem and it should last you between 300,000 and 500,000 miles. This is only for vehicles who are constantly supercharged every day. Okay, that's it. Just wanted to let everyone know. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you next time.